Hello friends, uh, my name is Dr. Jyoti Prakash, Assistant Professor, Department of Management, School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. I hope you all are safe and uh, healthy at your homes. In the lecture series of Marketing of Services and in Unit 2, the next topic is New Service Development Process. In your marketing management uh, that you have studied in your first semester, you have must have studied uh, the product development stage means there are certain stages uh, which are uh, gone through uh, by a marketer in order to develop a new product. So, uh, in the same way if uh, a service provider want to provide uh, services to the customers as per the expectation or as per the requirement of them, then there is also a process for developing a new service. So, without any delay just uh, let us start uh, the class. So, uh, as the name itself refers that it is a process, so obviously it involves uh, certain stages and being a service provider, uh, if uh, they want to uh, develop a particular service, they have to go through these particular stages or the uh, steps uh, in order to develop a new product. Like uh, the first step is what business strategy development or review. The second one is new service strategy development, the third one is idea generation and then screening of ideas. Next one is concept development and testing, business analysis, service development and testing, market testing, commercialization and post introduction evaluation. It is somehow similar to the process of developing a new product, but uh, there is some uh, sort of differences between the development process of a product or a service. Uh, and these stages are basically uh, bifurcated into two uh, important functions like front end planning and implementation. Because one of the characteristic of services is inseparable means uh, the services cannot be separated from its provider. So, uh, planning should be done first and then after the implementation part should be done by the service provider. So, uh, before developing a, a new service a planning should be required. So, uh, in uh, front end planning there are certain stages involved in like business strategy development, new stat service strategy development, idea generation, concept development and business an analysis. And after uh, going through all these stati stages, the service provider is now confident ki whether uh, uh, or can take decision regarding whether to develop the service or not and then after he or she can take decision accordingly regarding implementing and executing and going further for developing the new product or not. So, uh, uh, in the net later slide we will have a uh, discussion on these stages one by one. Uh, so, the first aspect that is front end planning means the planning of uh, development of the new service is done earlier. So, obviously, it is uh, the first step come under front end planning is business strategy development. What is the meaning of business strategy development means if a service provider want to offer a service to the customer, then firstly he or she has to decide the mission and vision of the company. Means what uh, mission and what vision they want to achieve uh, by offering a service yeah, uh, for, the, for the survival or for the existence of the particular firm. So, uh, being a firm or being a service provider, firstly the first step that is to be decided by the service provider that is to determine the mission and vision aspect of the company. What is the meaning of mission? Mission is all about reason of existence or short term goal that the company wants to achieve. And the uh, if we talk about vision statement or vision aspect for the company that uh, uh, for all uh, vision st uh, stands for basically a long term goal that the company wants to achieve in a future time period or in a coming time period. So, before developing a service, a while if a company wants to develop a service, the motive behind uh, developing that service that should be clear, means uh, the company should be clear in terms of uh, uh, its mission and vision statement. So, as per the mission and vision statement of the company, the process steps further, uh, the steps uh, go further and the second step or the second stage is what new service strategy development. New service de strategy development is all about uh, in this particular stage the company basically decide which type of strategy they are going to adopt in order to develop a new strategy. Uh, suppose uh, uh, 
for for having a clear understanding of different strategy regarding development of new service so basically these are the strategies of developing a new service in which there are two parameters like market and the offerings market is all about the segment or the target market that the company or that the service service firm wants to cover or capture and the offerings means the services that they are the, that the service firms are providing to the customers either in uh, older version or the new one so uh, the first parameter that is market in uh, it is also divided into two aspect like current uh, customers and new customer and the offering means the service that the service firm is already providing the, to the customer that is all about existing services and if the service firm wants to offer new service then it is uh, new services so there are two consideration while uh, going through the concept of uh, Uh, this particular matrix that has been given by ansof uh, the source has been mentioned that uh, hi ansof has given the concept uh, of uh, this service uh, strategy development so uh, under this there are two important consideration the first one is market and the second one is the service mark and in market there are two consideration also involved the current customer and new customer and in offering there are uh, two considerations too like the existing services and new services okay just look at the first quadrant that that is uh, share building means uh, it is all about the scenario of the current market means the service provider is providing the current service to the cur current customers that is all about share building means the uh, the company is now offering uh some sort of yeah some type of service to the customers and trying to share trying to build up the market share from uh, that uh, level of service the second quadrant we see that market development the name itself refers that market development means developing the market means developing or adding more and more market segment to that particular service sector means here the customer is new but the service is existing okay just see this particular quadrant new customers and existing services market development means development of the market means development adding or development of some another segment to that particular particular service that is already being offered by the uh, service provider that is all about market development new services okay look at this particular quadrant service development here the development of services is being offered by the or done by the customer here the customer is current but the service is new wahi customer base hai but the service provider is thinking to offer a new type of service to them so that is all about service development and the last quadrant that is diversification here the customer is new and services is also new okay we will have an understanding with the uh, help of an example or with the example uh, with the help of some examples like share building share building is uh, all about uh, taking the scenario of the current market ki bahut sare service firms are hain aur wo alag alag tarike ke services offer kar rahi hain currently we as customers are offering or availing or experiencing that type of service the second was uh, one is market development like uh, a new customers uh, and uh, service development if we talk about uh, if a retail firm or if a departmental store is having a, a, a particular customer base and during this covid situation now they have started the services of free home delivery then the customer base is existing but the, they have added one more service they are they are now providing one more service to the customer base that is all about service development uh, now uh, market development suppose uh, see a uh, one we can take one example of a saloon that is for men only and uh, obviously the services are offered under saloon uh, they are offering to the customers uh, to the to men only but now they are they have uh, converted their saloon into unisex matlab now uh, male and female both can go and avail the services so that is all about market development means that saloon has added one more segment to that particular so, uh, services and the last one is diversification like uh, banks and uh, insurance uh, companies are uh, now day by day offering different uh, policies and different plans to different customer group that is all about the uh, example of diversification so the second stage that is all about new strategy development after 
having a clear understanding about the mission and vision, the company has to decide which strategy they are going to adopt for uh, providing the services or for developing the services, either share building, either market development, service development or diversification. Then as per the strategy the service firm has adopted, suppose the service firm is now taking strategy or take, uh, thinking about market developing or service development. So, according to that the next in the next stage idea generation, the next st stage is idea generation yani ki, uh, uh, the service firm basically generated ideas or solicits uh, ideas from its employees and customers for uh, for having an idea about the new service, about the new offerings that they want to offer to the customers. And accordingly, employees and customers, they all will give their suggestions and ideas to the concerned company. And uh, for that purpose, formal brainstorming session is conducted by uh, the service firm. Brainstorming is all about soliciting idea, means an immediate situation is portrayed or thrown to the employees or the other uh, impl uh, other parties of the organization and accordingly they just give suggestion regarding uh, the particular problem or regarding the situation that they have been asked for and uh, of, uh, by doing so the service firm basically uh, invites or collects different ideas and viewpoint of different parties or different persons and uh, uh, how ideas can generate it obviously uh, by the uh, by having an idea or by knowing about the different competitors offering and their strategy, what they are offering, what strategy they have adopted in order to capture the mass market or in order to uh, fulfill the customer expectation. So, it is also very important if you want to generate idea, you just copy, you just try to know the offerings and the strategy of your competitors, what they are doing uh, regarding their offerings and regarding uh, uh, to their basically customer base. And uh, collaboration with outsiders simply can you can take also advices from your intermediaries, from uh, your traders, from your suppliers, from uh, some uh, uh, consultancies, yeah, from some uh, agents and brokers, you can take ideas regarding development of the services. So, the third stage is what idea generation and how the company or how the service firm is generating ideas going through or by following all these uh, points or all these sources means employees and uh, customers can contribute or can give their ideas by conducting brainstorming sessions, by going through or by identifying or supervising, analyzing the competitors offering they are in, they have introduced in the market and the last one is collaboration with outsiders means uh, uh, maintaining our relationship with outsiders like traders, agents, retailers, wholesaler and from those persons you can also take an idea. And in this step, one uh, particular action is also conducted. If बहुत सारे ideas company के पास आते हैं, but हर एक idea is not exact and ap appropriate. So, screen out of the generated ideas. Here, the service firm basically screen out the unsuitable ideas and suggestion and select the relevant idea or physical feasible ideas so that ki they can work on that. So, uh, after screening the ideas. Uh, after, uh, a particular concept of uh, a particular concept is basically developed regarding developing of a new service and it is also being evaluated by the service firm that uh, the that the concept and that the design they are uh, using for developing the service that is exact that is accurate or not that will fulfill the expectations of the customers or not that is to be checked out through evalu uh, through evaluation process or by doing evaluation and supervision process so in this stage basically a concept of the proposed service that is to be developed here and that it has to be tested and evaluated by the service firm or by the concerned person who is basically he, who has been taken the given the responsibility of uh, developing the service. Next one is business analysis. In the previous stage like the service concept development and evaluation here the service firm is now uh, in a state. Uh, ki, uh, now, they are having a, a clear idea or having a clear picture about the proposed services. So, that clear idea must be supported by the financial condition of the co company. So, the next step is what business analysis. Uh, 
uh, analysis of the overall condition of the business, overall condition or uh, financial condition of the particular firm that, that the concept development of, uh, that the concept developed by going through the previous stages that should be supported by the company or, or the resources of the company or not. So, in this step basically, uh, demand analysis, revenue projection, cost analysis and other feasibility analysis is being done by the firm, so that ki they can be in a state of confidence, ki, uh, we can go further uh, and we can now develop that particular service that uh, has been decided or that has been selected uh, by the service firm. So, in this particular uh, step uh, or stage. Uh, the analysis of overall service firm is being done in terms of the demand analysis, the revenue projection and the cost that they are going to bear in order to avail or in order to provide that particular service. Uh, this stage also involves uh, the cost of hiring, training, personnel, delivery system like uh, obviously uh, we have talk or we have an uh, we have a discussion about the importance of people, one of the important element of the service marketing mix. Obviously, these representative or these people of the service firm deliver the service to the customers and how effective they are because they are the front face uh, for the service firm. So, how effectively they are interacting with the customer for uh, making available uh, the service to them. So, it is very important that you have to assume, you have to project the cost of hiring uh, that type of uh, personnel require that type of human resource in the organization, so that key accordingly you can uh, fulfill uh, your objective by uh, getting an interaction with your employees with the uh, selection of a good human resource with the customer. So, you have to analyze the uh, by this perspective too. And uh, overall uh, basically uh, you have to analyze overall feasibility analysis of the firm, so that uh, okay, minimum requirement or minimum cost they you are able to recover. So, in totality we can say that in this particular step, the overall analysis of the business firm in terms of resources like financial, human and physical resources is being done by the ser service firm, so that accordingly they can, they can take decision regarding going further in order to develop the service. Uh, now, uh, the service firm is ready to uh, uh, develop or uh, now ready to offer that develop service to the customer. So, uh, the second step is what implementation, jitne bhi planning pehle ke step uh, stages mein ki gai hai, now it is time to uh, develop that service, so accordingly they can be provided to the customer for fulfilling their requirement. So, uh, in implementation the step is like service development and testing, whatever the concept that has been developed. Uh, that concept must be implemented uh, in a physical form, in a evident form, so that the services can be provided or services can be in a state to provide, so that they uh, can be provided to the customer in order to fulfill the need. For that purpose, a particular bl blueprint is sh uh, should be developed. A uh, blueprint is all about a sketch of the proposed service, because in service one of the important element is what uh, process, means in order to deliver the service or in order to avail the service a customer has to go to a particular process. So, you have to take care of that being a service pr provider and for that purpose you have to develop a blueprint of the proposed services first. So, accordingly you can give a clear picture to the customers that if they want to avail the service what process they have to adopt, what process they have to go to to go through. So, for that purpose you have to develop a blueprint of the proposed services and the testing is also being done by uh, the uh, concerned person here too, because while draw drawing or while uh, sketching the uh, process of the proposed services there uh, can be, there may happen that some uh, correction should be required. So, accordingly testing is also uh, done uh, from time to time, so that a uh, exact or uh, accurate uh, process can be developed for uh, distributing or for providing the services to the customer. So, uh, I have taken one example of a blueprint of a overnight hotel stay, hotel is what a type of service firm and we as customer if we take the services of a hotel, if we uh, suppose we go some, uh, uh, we have gone somewhere and uh, take one hotel. So, what is the purpose behind that? Obviously, we want to take some rest for, uh, uh, for uh, uh, 
we want basically take some uh, rest in that particular hotel. So, uh, in order to avail that particular service, we have to go or we have to follow this particular process. Like if you see there are some uh, uh, like uh, the counters, uh, the front counters where we can interact and ask our queries regarding the availability of the room, regarding the uh, facilities provided by the hotels and uh, there are certain uh, some people involved there like they are greeting and taking our bags and uh, the there are certain person involved in our uh, process of registration uh, delivery of bags and food delivery and process check out the overall check out process done by uh, obviously the people so uh, people can or the human resources aspect can also be taken care of that and there are some support services like registration system prepare for you need not go to that restaurant and uh, that particular place where the food is prepared, but food is uh, one of the facility that is uh, provided by the hotel. So, these type of things are basically what the support services that should be or that must be provided by the service organization. So, it is uh, just like a blueprint and uh, a blueprint of the proposed pro uh, process of the services. So, if as a customer, if we want to avail that particular services of a hotel, then we have to follow this particular process. Next is what market testing. Now, the new service that the company has now developed with the help of a blueprint or with the help of a, a sketch and ready to offer to the customer. So, market testing is done here means uh, after that market, market testing should be done and how it is done. Uh, Suppose some of the respondents you just select out maybe of your friends and your relatives and your neighbors, you just call them and just exp just uh, uh, ask help from them uh, that they just go through the uh, develop process and how is the feel, how, uh, what is the feedback of them, they just give the feedback regarding the service means what is the experience of them. If they are happy, if they are uh, satisfied that the, you have uh, developed a exact and accurate service and process uh, uh, through which a customer, if a customer is passing through then obviously he or she will be satisfied and will be happy. So, at this stage basically pilot study has to be done for the services to be sure that the operational details are functioning smoothly. Means, the selected log the unse ya feedback log if they are saying that you have uh, uh, the process that you have developed is very good. So, obviously, you will be confident that jo hum kaam karne ja rahe, that is good, very good and now we can offer this particular service at a larger level, at a mass level. Here market testing is basically done for a small segment or for a, for a uh, on a uh, small number or small chunk of uh, respondents. But uh, 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 by doing or by conducting a testing on a small number of respondents, you uh, being a service provider become confident that obviously uh, the process or the service that we are going, we want to or we are going to offer to the customers that is very good. So, now next move we can take that it can be commercialized. Commercialization is all about the services goes live and introduced to the mass market and at this stage basically there are two primary objective of the service firm that is to uh, build and maintain acceptance of the new service among large number of service delivery person who will be responsible for day to day means uh, that can be accepted by the mass market and uh, the service that we are uh, we have offered to the uh, customers and we have offered to the market that service must live their life cycle means the introduction growth maturity and decline you must have studied in your know, first semester of marketing management and you must have an idea about the uh, life cycle so these two objectives must be fulfilled in totality we can say that in commercialization stage the service firm, firm is now confident enough and now they are going to offer that service to the mass market that is all about commercialization. Next is uh, post introduction evaluation. Post introduction evaluation means uh, here commercialization after uh, uh, if the service firm is now ready to introduce or now uh, uh, thought that. Uh, it now, uh, we have to level pe or mass market ko service offer karna hai. Now, the product or now the, now the service is ready to be introduced in the market. So, uh, this stage comes after introduction, post, intro, uh, post introduction evaluation means after the introdu introduction of that service to the customer, the evaluation is also done by the service provider and how it is done 
by taking uh, feedback or uh, 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 from the retailers or from the intermediaries, from the customers, you can take uh, feedback regarding the performance of your service, what is the service, uh, how is the service and what things you like most and uh, what things you do not like and give your suggestion, give your wish list. So, whatever uh, the things uh, that you have offered, you have introduced to the mass market on uh, those facilities and on those things you can take feedback of the customers. And uh, obviously, uh, one last line I have mentioned that no service will ever stay same. Obviously, uh, the service you are ho, that should not be same. Why? Because we as customer have uh, switch our preferences or uh, changes our preferences very frequently. So, in order to uh, keep up pace with the changing preferences of the customers, you have to add on, you have to do certain uh, changes in the service level or in the uh, in the service quality of yours, so that accordingly time to time you can fulfill the expectation of the, your customers and uh, satisfy them and you can just able to fulfill your mission and vision statement. So, these are uh, the steps uh, of uh, uh, new service development process. One thing I would like to uh, uh, add more, like uh, here in every step, after these two steps, uh, in every steps, their uh, stop has been written then. Why? Because idea generation, if the generated ideas are not relevant, then just stop here and go back and again you have to think on the new strategy development. Then stop here, concept development and testing. Suppose the generated ideas, uh, whatever you have uh, the ideas generated, those are relevant, but on you are not in a state to develop a good concept or good. Uh, blueprint or a uh, good thought uh, by going through the uh, screened out ideas, then you have to stop there and go the previous, go to the previous step. So, in every steps, if uh, market testing is not good, not ag exact, means uh, the number of respondent you have selected, they have not given a positive feedback regarding the developed process. So, you have to stop here and go to the previous uh, steps and again think on the mission and vision and the new strategy and the previous steps that you have decided. So, in all the steps, stop has been written there, purpose behind written uh, uh, stop is that if the things uh, uh, is uh, are not going as per the prescribed manner, as per the thought manner. So, you have to stop that being a service provider and think again and uh, go to the previous step think again and just go further to develop a new service. So, uh, these are the steps just go through uh, uh, being a service provider in order to develop a service. So, these are basically the references of a uh, good books given by Zithmel and Lovelock if you want to get a more understanding about the new service development process. So, just go through these references. Okay, thank you class, have a, have a, have a nice day. Thank you.